Hello, ladies and gentlemen, today we have for you two of our favorite fighters in the Pancrace ring. We have Kiyama Kunioku taking on Keiichiro Yamamiya. Uh, Kunioku is trying out a new look. He's not wearing all pink today. He's in black velvet. Which sounds like the name of a strip club, to be honest. Uh, these guys met once before, and Keichiro had his elbow hyperextended by our boy Kiyama Kunioku. And Yamamiya has the biggest fucking cauliflower ear. Like, those things are huge. Kunioku's ready to go. Uh, Kunioku coming off a loss against Bus Rutan, looking in killer shape as always. Jesus Christ, that cauliflower ear is awful on the side of the head of <laughs> Yamamiya. Uh, Kunioku has some too, but his appeared to have actually been drained at some point. For those of you that don't know, Keiichiro Yamamiya was Paul Lazenby's roommate during their time in Pancrase together. And uh, Paul Lazenby, I believe, I'm not sure if I put this in the any of the interviews, but... When I finally put together the and the rest section from Paul Lazenby, there was a nice little story where Yoshiki Takahashi is running around the uh, the Pancras like hotel where all the young boys live, shooting people with a BB gun, and then he gets Paul Lazenby, and Paul's like, "What the fuck, dude?" And he's like, and <laughs> Yoshiki's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Can you just move over there?" And then um, Yamamiya pokes his head out, and then just gets wrecked by Takahashi with this um, damn BB gun, just like keeps shooting him. And he can't do shit because he's uh, Takahashi's young boy. Even though he was an official fighter at that period, yep, he's still Takahashi's young boy, so he still gets bullied. Good palm strikes from Keiichiro Yamamiya, and I believe if we're at the 30 second mark, he has lasted longer than he did last time against Oh man, Kuma Kunioku. Kunioku again with his wrists taped up. I've really got to ask Lazenby about that. Whether or not Kunioku was perpetually injured or if he actually, you know, gave a shit about himself and actually wrapped his hands on like everyone else in Pancras. Nice takedown from Keiichiro Yamamiya. I'm going to call that a knee tap and anybody who wrestles can, you know, tell me that I'm completely wrong. Oh, he's been spending some time with Suzuki. Uh, like I said, I got my thoughts on the looks of guys, uh, so I think Kondo and Funaki, not Kondo, Funaki and Kiyomiya Kunioku were all sort of, they all hung out together, whereas I think Yamamiya was definitely hanging out more with Suzuki. Nice leg lock entry from Kiyomiya Kunioku, and good efforts from... Yamamiya to defend this leg lock attack, he's separating the legs and he's keeping his weight on the leg, which is a surefire way to stay the fuck up and not get knocked over. Uh, if you want to, oh, nice toe hold though, nicely done, Kunioku, to get the turnover and pop up on top. If you want to see leg lock defense done right, watch uh, Vinny Magalesh versus Gordon Ryan. If you want to see leg lock defense done wrong, watch Vinny Magalhaes versus Craig Jones because he gets a spiral fracture all the way up his fucking tibia because he refuses to tap to an inside heel hook, gets caught in two more, and then he's just like standing around, I believe, and just goes, uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely done because <laughs> his whole leg's just been munted. Uh, Keiichiro Yamamiya possibly thinking cross heel hold here with the uh, cross feet of... Our man Kiyama Kunioku. Kunioku kind of stuck here on the bottom. Well, that was lazy as shit. <laughs> Kunioku essentially gives up top position once um, Yamamiya gets past his legs and he's fucking death staring him from the bottom of the fucking shit on neck ride. Like he's looking up at him just like, you asshole, how dare you do this to me? <laughs> Uh, attempted TK scissors from Yamamiya and a bitch slap when um, they hit the ground again. Nice back step from Yamamiya. Setting up the double wrist lock attempt. Uh, armbar from the bottom of side control from Kunioku. That's pretty fucking cool. Uses it to regard. 
Elevator hooks. Uh, Neely stands up. Neely gets caught in a guillotine and goes barely up to avoid the guillotine. Nice grappling. This is good stuff. Yamamiya slides over into mount. Putting pressure on the wrists. Goes to Z mount. Uh, Z-Mount I found good for guys who are bigger than you, guys who move around a lot, not what I would have done against a guy like Kima Kunioku, who is very good at escapes, because you end up giving up the opportunities for sweeps there, because you've gotten rid of one, like half your base. Good for catching triangles on the way over, uh, good for setting up arm bars, not for much else. Kunioku going for a leg lock from the inside of Yamamiya's guard, he's got the lion's den position of both ankles. Good control, shit for finishes. So he's, yeah, he's ditched one leg and he's going for the other one. Alright, he's going to try straight ankle lock this one, I believe. Yamamiya doing a good job separating the legs, grabbing the wrists, generally frustrating. I'm trying to work a toe hold now. Kinyoku looks disappointed. Nice toe hold from Yamamiya, but he doesn't have the knee line at all. Like, he's not going to get that one. Had no control over that leg. Very passive there from Kunioku. Like, he's just hanging out there, just having a hold of one leg and not doing much else. Backstanding. Kunioku's got some funny shaped collarbones. <laughs> just something I noticed. Very curly. Front kick from Kunioku. Counter slap from Keichiro. Another counter slap from Keichiro. Keichiro had nice hands. Good palm strike. Another front kick from Kunioku there. Good palm strike. And fuck, that was a nice double. Uh, Keichiro Yamamiya ducked under that slap, turned the corner all the way around for that double leg. That was really nice. And he's gone straight to Shin on Nekrai. And of course, he didn't have to pass guard because it was a really nice double, and he just ended up with the legs on the side of him. Excuse me, burping. <laughs> That's a great shot. I think I might use that one for the thumbnail. Just a disappointed looking uh, Kuma Kunioku with the palm of Keijiro Yamamiya on his face. Nice uh, step back into side control from Kei Yamamiya, then he goes to Neon Belly. I think, yeah, I'm definitely sure Keijiro has been spending some time with... Minoru Suzuki, because he's just being a mean bastard from on top. And he's got that high uh, high amount of movement, step, like backstepping, moving around, slipping around to north-south. A lot of movement, not much pressure, lots of mean shit, and a lot of movement. That is the Minoru Suzuki method of being on top, and is one I really enjoy watching. And so, we're seeing it here in Keichiro Yamamiya. Nice! Uh, hip escape and regard attempt from Kiyama Kunioku. Body strikes from Yamamiya. Palm strike from Yamamiya. Very resounding bitch slap. And the ref has seen enough of that. So him to stand up. This is not referee Umeki. This is not Soichi Hiroto. It is the other one whose name I cannot remember for the life of me. Who's a little bit more break happy than the other two fellas. Umeki and uh, Hiroto Soichi definitely let things go longer on the ground. Good counters from Keichiro Yamamiya. Front snap kick from... Nice counter strike from Kimo Kinyoku as well as that front snap kick. Good long right left hand from Yamamiya. And then he hits a nice turning double again. Keichiro Yamamiya could wrestle. Uh, thinks leg locks gets caught up in a leg lock attack of his own because he was lazy as shit on that leg entry. Toe hold attempt from Kiyama Kunyoku and he rolls out of that nicely. Ends up giving up top position to Kiyama Kunyoku. That was cool though. Kunyoku immediately says, you know what? I don't want to be on top. I want to chase leg locks. <laughs> and sits back for the leg lock fight. Toe hold. Spins out. No knee control. Spinning. Twirling, twirling, twirling towards freedom is Keichiro Yamamiya. And he's trod on the testicles of Kiyama Kunyoku to escape the laylock position. And he's coming up on top. Kunyoku inverts all the way underneath. Nicely done! 
And he's into the toehold. Again, without the knee secure properly. So, Kiyama Kunyoku needs to spend some time with Osami Shibuya to learn how to secure legs, apparently. And I think... Oh, back steps into the knee bar attack. Cool as fuck. But I don't think he's going to get it because he's not going to cross his legs. He's not going to attack the leg properly. Uh, he's got that knee bar out straight, but Keichiro Yamamiya working nicely on defense. Goes to the toehold again. Keichiro Yamamiya escapes. Thinks about grabbing the ropes. Realizes he's free and doesn't. And back to the leg lock attack goes Kiyama Kinyoku. This is 100% a goddamn Eddie Bravo Invitational match. <laughs> nice. Exactly what I like to see. Uh, Kunioku just decides not to defend double guard. <laughs> his butterfly guard anymore. Just flattens out his leg. Yes, Yamamiya! Slap it! <laughs> Treat him like a bitch for giving up guard like that. <laughs> Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who's won this one. So we'll have to wait for the, ref for the uh, referees and judges' decision. Yamamiya working Ezekiel chokes, palm strikes, slides back, tries to back out into guard. Kunioku flattens his legs out again. Like he, uh, I don't think Kunioku liked half guard, maybe? Because <laughs> he's just like, yeah, whatever. Just, you know, pass me, it'll be fine. Kunioku thinking leg lock attack. Spins into the ankle lock. Going for that Rutan style one. Doesn't have the knee line himself. Kunyoku breakdances out of it, and that is the end of the match. Alright, I don't know who wins this one, ladies and gentlemen, so we'll go to the referee's decision. Ref tells him to go to the corners. Kunyoku looking ever so slightly distressed. Handshake from our two fellas there. God damn it. If Kimo Kunioku didn't like model in girls' magazines throughout his entire career, he made a huge fucking mistake. I'm telling you that right now. Draw? Ooh. Okay, yeah. Majority draw! And I think, you know what, that's well deserved. It was a very even match. Very fun to watch. I actually quite enjoyed it. But, yeah, no definitive winner in that one. So, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that. There's a lot of leg lock intricacies going on there, which is, you know, fun to see, for me at least. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see all of you next time! <laughs>